Well, if you discovered your partner was cheating on you, what would you do? Some go quietly, but others seek revenge. Without thought, without consequence, these jilted lovers want payback, and they'll stop at nothing to get it. I want him dumped! Oh, my little Miss Midriff. By that stare master L'Oreal crotch jockey in front of everyone in the Western Hemisphere on the 6 o'clock news, okay? Brenda? And after that, of course, I want world peace. They say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Ivana, I want to thank you for coming so much. You're oh, an angel. Oh, of course, I will. Thank you so much again. <laughs> Ladies, we have to be strong and independent. And remember, what? Don't get mad, get everything. It's true. Some go straight for the jugular. Their motive, pure revenge. Where is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? What is going on? You want some? Get off me. This is all my nails. Mary, what's been going on here? Don't worry about who we are. She's not quite as violent, but US writer Evan Nagorski relishes payback. She's the author of Down and Dirty Dish on Revenge, touted as the ultimate guide to getting even with a lying, cheating ex. So if you're having the affair, pray your other half hasn't read this book. It may get some nasty ideas. And Eva Nagorski joins us now from New York. Good morning, Eva. Now, your book is based on true Hello. stories. What's one of the um, most yes. extreme tales of revenge that you've heard in compiling it? Uh, well, some of the most extreme ones, I'm not sure if I can say on television, Ooh, but yeah. um, there are <laughs> some of them involve knives and super glue. Oh, but, um, this is like the John Wayne Bobbitt story all over again. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah. There's a section devoted to that specific sort of tactic because um, oh. that happens, unfortunately, quite a lot. Mm. Um, but um, <laughs> but uh, there are people who have taken all different forms of revenge, and obviously in my book I'm condoning legal revenge, but I do talk about things that have gone a little bit too far and possibly illegal and have uh, gotten people in trouble. Um, but there's, um, there's countless things you can do. There's, uh, for example, a woman who uh, made billboards all around her town and put a photo of her entire family with their children and said on the billboard, W-A-M-M-D, Wise Against Married Men Dating. Oh. Um, because her husband was cheating on her and she made sure that everyone saw who it was and where. So, um, but uh, there are all different tactics that people take and with the internet now that takes things to a whole new level with sex tapes and you know, nude photographs, things like that. Yeah. So, sure does. Um, Eva, what inspired yeah, you to so write this book? What, did you have a bad experience? Um, well, I'm not saying I haven't had any bad experiences, but uh, so I do understand where the revenge comes from. But actually, it wasn't because of that. I'm, I'm personally not a vengeful person. It's just not my personality. But I was hired by a, a marketing viral campa a campaign company to, uh, to be the voice of a blog called That Girl Emily. And this fictional woman finds out that her fictional husband is cheating on her. And she exacts 14 days of wrath on him. And the first day, she put up billboards all over New York City and Times Square and mm -hmm. all these other places so everyone could see that she found out he was cheating. And uh, then, you know, day four, she put, put up flyers that said Lost Dog and had his photo on it. Day hmm. seven, she put x lax into brownies and had them sent to his office. And uh, day eight, she, she desecrated <laughs> his car and spray painted it with hope she was worth it. And the, the thing was that with the Internet today, people would take photographs of all all these different things and email them to people and the blog got over two million hits uh, it, it, and and this woman Emily uh, whose voice I, I was behind the voice uh, was receiving emails from everywhere around the world thousands of emails saying you're my hero of course there were some people saying you're crazy but mm -hmm. most for the most part people were saying you're really my hero and both men and women actually and it really made me think about revenge and how it's been around since the beginning of time how people have always fallen in love, they always get hurt, and they always want payback. And whether you go forward with it or not, it's part of your personality. That just depends on you. So do you I advocate just, do you advocate revenge as a as a means of moving on ever? I think so, um, to a certain level, yeah. I, I never 
thought that before writing this book, but when I've heard so many stories and, and the way people feel about exacting some fun, um, little legal way of revenge, to be able to just sort of feel more uh, empowered and sort of more in c control of their emotions, and then they're able to move on. Obviously, I don't condone any sort of illegal revenge, as I mentioned, mm. but, and I do think if you do exact revenge, there should be an end point. It should be funny. It should be in a fun way. It should be something that you should think about carefully so you don't regret later and, uh, and be able to move on um, after that and not continue it. Because some people, unfortunately, fall into the dangerous cycle of continuing a revenge and they just don't know where to stop. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing wrong so. with a little bit of a laxative in a brownie, I think. Maybe <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. <laughs> that's actually illegal. So. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. Um, yeah. Nothing wrong I'm with a little bit that. of strychnine <laughs> in someone's coffee. Yeah. Ever we have to leave it there. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Just a drop. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for chatting to us and good luck with the book. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. See, it may be illegal to wound someone's testicles, but probably the judge would let you off in that situation. <laughs> anyway. Now, next up, so she thinks she can dance. Katie Holmes' tribute to Judy Garland when we come back. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day.